Hello my beautiful caterpillars and today we are doing the foundation review for this Wet n Wild Ultimate Match SPF 15 liquid foundation and I am in the color. Well the lightest shade that they have is 852A Ivory and it's a little bit too dark for me still and it's the lightest shade. It's a bit more orangey pinky tone and like there's a bar on my neck which I don't know if you'll be able to see but it like doesn't match my skin. <laughs> so yeah. I made it work, but it is definitely a light coverage foundation, which I have found out so far uh, when I put it on. And um, yeah, it's got SPF 15, which is kind of cool, so you can wear it out. You got your SPF when your foundation, which is kind of nice as well. So you can wear it out kind of like not a super summer day, but like hot day, but like in the winter or something, you'd be, uh, you got a little bit of SPF um, in your foundation, which is kind of nice. It still feels a little stiff. Sticky. Even now, I'm like, it still kind of feels a little tacky on the skin, so I'm not a huge fan of that. But, um, yeah, excuse my appearance, because I've been studying all day, so I kind of look a little, a little janky, but, um, <laughs> not janky, but, like, just not as what I normally film in and be presentable in, so, yeah, bear with me on that. But let's get into me putting this foundation on, and then, um, yeah. So I will do a couple check-ins, like I said, you'll see, um, I'll do a couple check-ins and um, show you guys the actual foundation itself and how long it wears and stuff. I did put a setting spray on, which I already mentioned because I filmed this after. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into it. Rambly intro, done. I have already primed my face with the Wet n Wild, not Wet n Wild, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. It says it's a 12 hour primer. It elect electrolytes, energies, and hydrates skin. It's oil free, silicone free, and alcohol free, and it's not tested on animals. And I like it. Um, I don't really know how well it keeps me matte, but it's more of a hydrating primer, so I like it. And um, sometimes it's nice just to spray your face. With a hydrating primer, and now we're going to get into the thing we've all came for, and it's kind of what you can't see, and I apologize if the light is crack crappy, and you can hear my chair. Um, yeah, so let's try putting this on my face. So this is the lightest color, and it's in ivory, and I just hope it's uh, light enough for my skin. Like it may work. I like to use a sponge. This looks like a beauty blender, but it is from the dollar store, and I'm still trying to work it out, but I like it so far. first layer and it looks like there's nothing on my skin like not even like it doesn't look like there is any foundation so I might try my real technique sponge to see if that has any effect or if it's just the foundation <laughs> this like hurts my hand ow I put way too much on there okay I would say that this is um, light coverage. <laughs> it basically looks like I um, don't have any foundation on at all. And um, kind of in the way of that it just looks like my skin very much so. Like it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. So I mean if you want like a very very natural look where it's like you can't even tell that you're wearing foundation, even yourself can't tell um, that you have it on, then this is very light coverage. I It blended nicely and 
um, buildable wise. <laughs> I put two coats on, two layers, and um, it still looks like my skin. You can see my skin through it, and it's definitely not a good color match for me. <laughs> um, if you can see, there is a distinct line on my neck. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but where my skin and my foundation ends and um, on my neck and it's more pinky, it's a more pinky tone to like orangey tone I would say on the skin. There's a swatch kind of left over on my hand. You can kind of see that. I don't really know but um, yeah so so far light coverage um, looks like my own skin. I feel like it kind of feels a little sticky. Like when I was blending everything in, it was kind of like, st it was sticky. My sponge was sticky, which I haven't found, noticed with like a foundation that it was like sticky kind of, but, so it feels a little sticky or tacky, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, definitely on my neck, it's a little sticky. So that's a little weird. <laughs> I keep looking in here and being like, so uh, let me just look at myself. Um, but Yeah, so far it hasn't really settled into any fine lines, which is nice, although under this eye there, um, a little bit has, but, um, yeah. I'll go put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll come back and tell you guys how that blended. It blended nicely, but it's definitely, um, very... Definitely very light coverage foundation. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin, so that's nice. Um, it does say that it has SPF 15. It's 852A Ivory. It's got an SPF. It's um, foundation uh, SPF, which is kind of nice that it has an SPF built into your foundation, which is nice. So if you want to wear it, but it's definitely very light coverage and. Um, I wouldn't say it's got a dewy finish, nor a matte finish, um, kind of more of a natural finish, like, I don't seem, like, super, I have oily combo skin, so, um, I don't see really the whole, dewy, it's kind of more of a natural tint, and it's a little, a little sticky still, I don't know, it feels weird, it just feels a little tacky, sticky, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to put on the rest of the foundation, makeup, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So my makeup is on. Here's um, a close-up kind of of what the foundation looks like. So ignore my eyeshadow because that looks a little weird and I've got a little bit of eyeliner where it shouldn't be, but um, yeah, it's looking nice right now. It looks still... Now it looks more like I have a foundation on my face, just because it's a little bit more powdery, because I put powder on it, and um, yeah, but so far, looking good. It seems to be sticking to my nose well, which is an area I always have an issue with because I have an oily T-zone, so my T-zone right here. My forehead, my nose, my chin are usually oily, and then my cheeks are kind of more dry and I put on a setting spray which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray and I love this stuff. It's amazing but it's almost running out so it kind of looked a little wonky. Um, but yeah so far I like this. It's a very natural coverage like I said and um, it was kind of looking a little dewy before I powdered it and it's still kind of looks a little bit but then I also put highlight and have a little bit of shimmer in my um, what is it? Um, my blush. So that could also be why I'm like I'm a little more sparkly on my eyelids. But um, yeah, it blended nicely. Well, for the most part, it was a little weird um, touching it consistency wise. It was a little bit weird of the consistency to put on. It didn't feel like a normal foundation. It felt a little, a little weird. Um, but yeah, so the time is, what time is it? Almost 2 o'clock right now. I don't have a clock to actually show you. Oh wait, maybe I do. Maybe you can see my tablet. It's like 1.48. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But, anywho, um, so I'm going to wear this foundation for the whole day. Basically, I'm just studying, doing a little bit of dishes, and mainly studying because, girl, I got a busy week ahead of me. 
it's hell week for everyone in my program right now. Um, but for me, I only have because it's my second time taking this program again uh, this semester. So I only have two tests and a quiz this week. Everyone else has uh, like six tests and a quiz. So um, yeah, that's super fun. And I have candle duty tomorrow, so that's exciting, which is why my videos have kind of been a little bit on the slacking side because I've been really studying and haven't really had a whole lot of time to edit. I have films, but not edited them and uploaded them, so that's why there's been like, I've been kind of my for a couple weeks. It's because I've just been super busy with school and yeah. So I also kind of look a little bit like a hobo today. Not really like a hobo, but I'm just not as like fully presentable as I normally am when I'm filming these videos. Just because I'm studying, so I'm just kind of in loungy, comfy wear sweats today. So and I didn't feel like changing, putting on like a fancy shirt to study with. So um, yeah, I hope you apologize my not fancy appearance or kind of just a little bit a little weird with like this whole collar thing but you know whatever we're gonna pass through it so yeah I'll do a couple check-ins and then a final thoughts on my thing and yeah see how oily I get see if I eat through my skin so yeah normally I bake my face and that does seem to help my foundation last longer when I bake the face um, so if you're really oily, that may be a tip for you to help baking your face. I bake my chin, my nose, and my forehead where I get oily, and that seems to help make my foundation last the entire day, which is nice. So, yeah, I didn't do that today because I wanted to see how well it would last just with a setting spray. Because otherwise, if I don't have a setting spray on it, my skin will probably eat through it within a couple hours. So, yeah. About 5.26 right now, and um, that's what I'm looking at. This is kind of... What my skin looks like. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. See this? My lipstick is obviously off right now. And uh, the fan is going on. I can't shut it off. <laughs> because I shut the fan off, my light was going to turn off. So here's what to do with that. And I don't know if it's because the, the lighting is so dark. I hope it isn't. That's dark, even though my camera is, my screen is dark. Anyways, uh, chin is still, still there on my chin. My nose is pretty much all still there. I don't think I blow my nose all. Um, and my forehead's still going good, which I am actually pretty surprised about. My blush foundation. <laughs> <laughs> my bronzer, contour, highlight, blush are all still on my face and uh, going quite strong. So actually I'm really surprised at how nice this foundation looks, except it's still a little sticky. When I touch it to my face, when I'm like touching it, it doesn't feel like my skin. Especially on my neck, it feels like it's like tacky and a little sweaty and not sweaty but like just tacky and a little sticky and gross so that's basically my only my only complaint about this foundation I eyeshadow is still going on strong um it has kind of set into the fine lines under my eyes if you can see that but everything seems to do that but nowhere else is it really set to all my frown lines or really my forehead I know they're always just like that. I don't really know if it's set, but um, yeah. So that's kind of exciting. Actually, really surprised because I've been wearing this since one and it's not five, so about four hours now. And usually by the four hour mark, my uh, this is at least starting to patch off. So that's kind of exciting. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. So this is the final check-in for um, the foundation review for the Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Foundation. It's got SPF 15 liquid foundation. I am in the color 85825 Ivory. Um, I think I've been wearing it for about six to seven hours right now. I know I didn't get to wear it for the full day, but um, 
I have a couple issues with this foundation. It a is not full coverage by any means. It's definitely a very light foundation and it doesn't really build really well. It still like gives you kind of like a very light coverage. So basically looks like you're not wearing any foundation at all, which is nice if you want the very, very natural look and it will just kind of like even out your skin tone. But they don't have a lot of color selection and this was the lightest shade that they had and um, it's still too dark for me and I am not like a super super pale person but I'm usually like the lightest shade in like every foundation um, at the drugstore basically and this was still too dark for me <laughs> so um, there's a drawback it is under five dollars though which is kind of nice but um, it's also got like a weird texture too it's kind of it doesn't feel like a normal foundation it's kind of like um, a little floopy. I don't know. And it was kind of um, sticky on my face. Like sticky, tacky, like when I touched it. Um, it felt really sticky on my face. Like it was like sticky or tacky. And um, when I touch my face on other foundations, like I don't feel that at all, even if I have like a setting spray on top of it. And when I put on, it just felt like a little sticky, tacky, but it was fine. I didn't really notice it. Um, it was just when I touched my face that I would notice that um, sticky, tacky texture, and it didn't even go away throughout the entire day. It's still throughout the night, like throughout the entire day I was wearing it, it still felt tacky. Um, but it wore nicely. I think it came off a little bit on my chin, started to separate a little bit, but I am kind of more oily there. And um, the nice thing was that the oil just came to the surface. It didn't really eat away at my skin, which was kind of nice. Um, and I was actually surprised that it was there for most of the day. I think some of my nose started to come off too, but that was kind of like my nose was also a very oily spot. Um, but yeah, it didn't really give off a whole lot of even like color pavement. It was very, very light coverage. Like when I was blending it out, even with my hand, like on the back of my hand, it doesn't even look like there's like any foundation at all which is what you want but like even blending it it was kind of like is there anything on my skin yeah, I used um, my blender my beauty blender my fake beauty blender from the dollar store and also my real technique sponge and they both kind of gave it not even really any coverage even when I tried blending it with my hand I still didn't get like a whole lot of coverage from this so all in all, it's a it's a nice foundation, but um, it's definitely not my favorite, and I don't think I would repurchase it. But um, if you're looking for a very very light natural foundation and you want something under inexpensive, like under five dollars, um, it's nice. But they don't have a lot of color selection, so if you're very pale, you may have trouble with the colors. I don't know how dark they go either, but. Um, yeah, even the lightest shade was still too dark for me. But it's nice that it's got a built-in um, um, sunscreen on it too, which is really nice. Um, but overall, I uh, maybe if you want to go to the beach and just wear something like that, it's got FPF, it would be nice. But um, yeah, I mean probably would work better for drier skin. It didn't stick to any dry patches. I don't think it'll be great if you have super oily skin. I don't think this is the foundation for you. Combo skin, it was okay, but I feel like it may be better for dry skin and if you want like a really, really light, light coverage because it's not even buildable. Like I couldn't build up the coverage. It just kind of didn't look like I was wearing anything at all. So <laughs> yeah, that is my personal opinion and my review of this foundation. If you love it, that's great. If you hate it, then that's okay too. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this or if there's anything other foundation you'd like me to try or any product you'd like me to try. Um, and maybe hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I already said that, but anyways, goodbye, beautiful butterflies. Bye!